Here are the details of an upcoming tape ball cricket tournament in Barbies. Twelve primary schools will go head-to-head -head on Saturday, December 9, 2023 for the knockout round of the Burbies leg of the tape ball tournament that will be played at the Port Morant Community Centre ground. The tournament was launched earlier today at the St. Francis Community Developers in Port Morant by FL Sport through sponsorship from Exxon Mobil Guyana. Mr. John Ramsing told the attendees of the fixtures of the tournament. Twelve teams will begin in round number one. And we'll break down to six because the first round is a knockout, instant knockout. Round two with six teams will also be a knockout. And those six teams will rub shoulders in the afternoon on Saturday, which means three teams will remain in the tournament. The remaining three teams will come back on Sunday. And those uh, three teams will play each other once. And then we have the winner emerging based on the points accumulated from playing each other once. Mr. Leslie Solomon commended the organizers of the tournament on behalf of the Burbies Cricket Board's president, Mr. Hilbert Foster, who unfortunately could not attend the event. We would like to thank the sponsors, ExxonMobil, for coming on board along with um, FL Sports, the grassroots tournaments are very important. Very important in that you catch the young players at the primary school level, right? And they don't escape the eyes of the coaches or the organizers, organizers or the talent spotters. So it's a very good initiative, and uh, thank you very much to both the entities. And uh, the Boris Cricket Board would like to also welcome the schools involved in the tournament. We welcome you and hope you have a successful tournament. And Mr. Foster sends his best wishes. The Region 6 Education Officer, who is responsible for the primary level, Ms. Surya Mahadio, made brief remarks. These, this activity has been organized and will reach great heights, which you will build your stamina as becoming a cricketer. So on behalf of the Department of Education, Region Number 6, we wish to congratulate the teams that will participate in this program, all the primary schools that will be involved, and we are sure that our teachers and pupils will give their 100% commitment towards this game. I am sure that we are going to witness some remarkable performances of, our, of great order over the course of this tournament. I wish to say that, give it your best, compete with the spirit of sportsmanship, as well as keep it as, as a fair play and grab every possible opportunity of coming close to each other, or in other words, giving a tough competition to each other. Community Relations Officer at ExxonMobil Guyana, Mr. Ryan Hoppy, spoke briefly at the launching. Well, one of our ExxonMobil's community investment focus areas is youth and community empowerment. And sport is an area in which we see huge positive benefits. And we ensure that coming out from these tournaments, that the impacts are felt throughout not just the schools, but also in our communities. And as we recognize that, you know, initiatives like this, and in other words, we say initiatives are, you know, interchange with projects, right? So we recognize that projects like this one give young athletes opportunities to develop and flourish, whether you're aspiring to become a local, a national, or an international cricketer. This has an opportunity, this tournament gives you the opportunity rather, to build on that career. And as you say at ExxonMobil, investing in youth is investing in the future. The teams that will vie for the first place trophy are from the following schools Bohemia, Belvedere, Rose Hall Town, Magowan, Number 36, Tain, Albion, Firish, Kildonan, Alness, All Saints, and the St. Alwishes Primary Schools. The first match is slated to commence on Saturday, December 9, 2023, at the Port Morant Community Centre ground at 9 a.m. Narima Ali, Channel 8 Sports.